Hey, what's up everybody? I know I'm a little bit late with this video, but I thought I'd show off what I got for my record store day of 2017 this year. So I'll start off by showing some of the free stuff that the record store I went to gave away. Um, first off on the counter they had these record store day buttons. And they also had these free uh, CD samplers. Look at the track listing there. And then also they had, let's see here, where did I put that? They had a choice of a couple posters that you could grab. Um, I grabbed this one here. It's kind of like an eye chart, but it's got all sorts of different turntables on there. That looked like the better of the two posters to me, so I grabbed that one. And then you also got this free Record Store Day bag to put all your purchases in. So that was pretty nice. So now let's get to the actual records that I bought. I'll start off with the seven inch singles here that I got. Um, first off I got this Prince picture disc. Let's see here, got the Little Red Corvette and 1999. So we got Prince with his guitar on this side. The next one I picked up was this Mungo Jerry in the summertime. This is a 7 inch single but it's actually played at 33 RPM so that's kind of different. And then the one I was really interested in picking up and I was glad the record store was able to get them in was this reissue of the Beatles uh, Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane single. I do have a original here from 1967. That's on the uh, American Capital Orange and Yellow Swirl label. This is the Parlophone re reissue here. And as you can see here, Strawberry Fields Forever is got a date of 2015. So this is the version from the One Plus compilation that came out in 2015. But Penny Lane. 2017 so that's the new remix from the new uh, Sgt. Pepper's 50th anniversary album that's coming out next month so I was really glad to get that because I know there's a lot of people that weren't able to get this one there's limited quantities or something I don't know they didn't get enough pressed so then we'll move up to the 10 inch singles uh, here I got the Star Wars A New Hope. It's got the main title and the throne room and end title songs on it for the 40th anniversary of Star, Star Wars A New Hope. It's just a black, black vinyl. So most, most of the albums that I really wanted, the, my record store actually got, so. And um, I have a two-year-old son, so I basically got this for him, but it's a Thomas and Friends Steam, Rattle, and Roll. And side, side one is, there's a story on side one, and then on the second side there's a list of songs with the song, and then basically a karaoke version I guess. I come with this insert with the lyrics to the songs on the back 
and the record itself is on Thomas the Tank Engine Blue vinyl. So uh, he hasn't listened to it yet, so hopefully he enjoys listening to that at some point. And next up is the actual LPs, the 12 inch. I got Harry Nelson's Nilsson Schmilson. Uh, let's see here. And this one comes with a 12 by 24 poster of Harry here from the front cover. Comes also with a digital download code. And as you can see on the front, the, the title there is white and yellow letters for his name there. So they've kind of done that with the album as well. Yep. Yellow and white with the old RCA label. This is a really good album that I don't have on vinyl, so it's good to pick that up as well. And the next one is from Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys. Uh, in 1977, he put out a solo album, Pacific Ocean Blue. And following that album, this was supposed to be the follow-up to that album, but it never officially got released before he passed away. But this is just a collection of uh, songs that would have been on there, I suppose. Um, it's a double album. So here we got the, the sleeve has the liner notes, kind of talks about the album there. <clears throat> and these are on green and black swirl vinyl. Also comes with the digital download code. Here we got the track listings and the credits. Next we got uh, Johnny Cash, the children's album. You can see the sticker there. And this one's got a sheet inside here and it's got some liner notes from uh, John Carter Cash, Johnny Cash's son. This one's just on uh, black vinyl with the Cap Columbia label. I'll do my best to show this one. It's going to be kind of tricky, but it's Neil Young's Decade. This is a three, three LP set, so it kind of opens like a book with three separate pages here. I don't own the original of this one, but this is nice to have um, the, pull out the first record here. It's black vinyl again with the reprise label. And if you open it up, this second piece actually does come out of there. Picture of Neil there. I don't know if you can see that. And inside here for this new remastering set, they got a couple of pictures included. So, yeah, that was. Just a few more left here. 
This one my record store didn't have, that's kind of why my video is a little bit late. Um, I had to order this through Bull Moose Records out of Maine. Um, they had a record store day sale the Monday after record store day and I was able to luckily get this, but it's the Space Jam soundtrack. Tracks there. And inside here, there's a just a black and white sheet with the different song songs and credits. A couple of pictures from the film. Put the outside sticker on the sleeve inside there. But these are on Atlantic and they're a uh, blue and black swirl vinyl, so that's really cool. And then just a couple other random ones I decided to pick up. There was this one that had some, some good, good songs on it. Uh, Dogfish Head presents Music to Drink Beer to, 3rd edition. We got songs, uh, Elvis Presley, Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, uh, the Clancy Brothers, Big Brother and the Holding Company, Donovan. There's actually a lot of good songs on this, this record. And that's just uh, black black vinyl. And the last one I picked up was uh, I think every year Sun Records puts out a an album so they got this really rock and right it's called from Sun Records. And it says it's limited to 4,000 copies. And they got stuff from Roy Orbison and Howlin' Wolf Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash, Carl Perkins, so some good 50s music on there. So there you have it, my collection from the 10th anniversary of Record Store Day 2017. I hope you enjoyed and hope you all had a good time going out to Record Store Day yourself and got what you wanted. Thanks for watching.